again everybody Solomon's Tales continuing on so Frozen and Solomon just gone into this massage place gone through the doors false alarm for the girls they thought customers coming in walked up to this bar uh, there's a cashier behind the bar and to the left it was it was a sort of square bar to the left was this Thai lady mid 40s maybe 50 and she spoke quite good English because Solomon said I'm trying to find the lady who owns the rooms up in Soy 2 and she beckoned him and frozen round to that side of the bar anyway they sat down she said do you want a coffee he said, yeah love a coffee and uh, frozen had a soft drink anyway they got chatting it was good English this lady and Solomon said that he was looking for a place for two months um, because of his visa he's on a tourist visa month then an extension for a month again it's different these days but the visas back then you could just keep going month by month get your visa for a month get an extension go out the country come back in and so on repeat rinse and repeat so he explains to this lady about his visa so he's looking for a room for two months and then he's got to get himself a motorcycle scooter and he said about these rooms in soy too now the woman she said are you you, you sure you want to stay at the top of soy too uh, a bit noisy up there and he's well it depends on the price and everything and she said you want a motorcycle scooter anything he said uh, yeah anything she said honda wave 125 have electric button start be okay and he's like again if the price is right two months yeah and she's uh okay she says i have rooms um and i have outside two honda 125 waves only three months old um she said you, you see the rooms and he said yeah the cleaner showed us and he said the one higher level double bed nice and clean he said okay okay have air conditioning she said he said yeah yeah that's good and she said uh, this room we charge 5,000 baht a month with aircon no bills just all in and there is um, parking at the bottom for bike aircon much as you want 5,000 baht a month I mean that's great it was a little bit more than you could get the view tally ones for you know but it's not far from the beach and she said but if he wanted for two months and a motorcycle I mean a motorcycle is normally 3,000 baht a month back then he'd be looking 6,000 and 10 16,000 baht for two months all in for those she said to him with the motorcycle I would do it for 13,000 baht for the whole two months everything so he's getting the motorcycle free for one month I mean, it's a bargain and he's like okay perfect she says you pay me 6,500 now 6,500 in a month time and this was it was something like the sixth or seventh of the month as we on that day she said so on the same day next month come pay me again brilliant okay that's fine and he's got some money in his pocket but it's all dollars puts his hand in pulls out a dollar he said is it dollar and the woman's like yes no problem she says something to the cashier and the cashier exchange rate yeah this amount of dollars but it was six and a half thousand baht hands over the money to the cashier she gave him change in Thai baht <laughs> good so he's paid a month got a bike and the woman says the cashier keys something or other and up comes a motorcycle key a key for the room and points down at helmets and, and ushers uh, Solomon's go around the bar and go in and try some of the helmets on and she had some nice proper helmets the solid ones not the cheap plastic ones that wouldn't do a thing proper decent helmets open faced little helmets you know grab one fitted perfect so there you go helmet bike keys room all sorted just like that because Ning had mentioned rooms that's brilliant he sorted 
this lady was lovely and he said thank you very much um, and told her his name and everything he said do you want copy passport right and she's no absolutely fine no need you pay me already for a month <laughs> so he's like cool there we go so up he gets frozen turns around the girls that are working in the massage this is a soapy massage look at other videos to work that one out one of my previous ones but one girl stood out what's Solomon like again black hair tie but um, slim she's maybe a touch bigger than slim again enhanced reg higher region smiled at him and winked so he smiled back but just she caught his eye he caught her eye yeah he's like wow hmm anyway out they go the lady tells him the number on the bike for the registration number uh says to, you know, do you want me to come with you no that's fine so he goes down across the road right next to where frozen park a bike parked a bike there's two silver honda 125s different numbers little keyring has got the number on anyway yep quickly checked over the bike it's like brand new it's only got about 3,000 kilometers on it so it's just like new beautiful flicks the seat up and there's the fuel tank checks everything's okay there's even a fuel gauge so it's got a half tank of fuel there's a lock on there you can hang the helmet on and it locks the helmet so that's good great pulls the bike out it's frozen right and he's still got his rucksack with him that he brought down from frozen he said i'm gonna go room chuck my stuff in there frozen said i'm busy today my boyfriend from bangkok is coming tonight she said but tomorrow night soy eight we've got this um killer pool she said i'll meet you lunchtime tomorrow i'll come down to your room okay so this is just before lunch says farewell frozen actually reverses out and goes off down beach road solomon straight up soy four on the top rang into soy two parks the bike room throws everything there that's a shower crash for a bit room's great one window but it's just looking at the back of those bars uh, soy two's down stairs off to his left so it, behind him is the beach down that way and right in front of him is the back of the atlantic bar and those bars but you can't see into the bars there's walls there so not a pretty window view anyway his next thought pops into his mind ning so he gets his phone text question mark sends no response nothing okay it's right so now he's going to, next thing he wants is to find that girlfriend, Kay, the one he fell for when he went back to the UK, then found through her emails that she had loads of boyfriends. He wanted the story, it's been bugging him. And he saw her down at a bar on the beach road, pretty very close to Soy 4, just a couple of bars along thinks I'm gonna go and just on the off chance I want to find her I want to talk to her this is bugging him she was great he liked her but when he when she started asking for money and he managed to get flukily someone had said a lot of these Thai girls back then 15 years ago they get an email from the email cafe and the guy sets the password to password or one two three four five six seven eight and he tried that and that's how he got into her email found out she had four or five guys sending her lots of money and that's when he finished with her but he wants to know why why she does this he was like he thought he knew everything about thailand but he didn't he wanted to know why these girls some of these girls who worked in bars why they had all these multiple boyfriends why were they juggling them all this anyway he thinks right i'm going down there jumps on the bike straight down soy two to the beach flicks around the corner and goes along it's only a few hundred meters it's 
and there's about three bars and he pulls in it's lunchtime pulls in sat there for a second and looking in and it's left hand bars where he saw it last time sure enough <laughs> it's like it's fate this had to happen this conversation she's there sat in the bar there's a couple of other bars um a couple of people there but they're just really small bars on the front looked like they were going to be knocked down soon and something else built there sort of bars but there she was that's just fake she's there gets off his bike puts his helmet on the mirror and she clocks him immediately stands up and he walks towards her she comes puts her arms around him gives him a cuddle she's like mm, okay k or whatever name he's i can't remember her name well i've given her but anyway i'm not saying her real name calling her k so he sits down orders a drink she's got a drink already and she starts excited to see him and how is he and all this and yeah they get the small talk out of the way and then he says to her okay i want to talk to you i want to know why why you lied to me why you had these boyfriends and you not tell me why you have money and not tell me and you want money and he's saying the, the girl behind the girls behind the uh, bar weren't listening so she wasn't losing face k now luckily because she she was just a nice girl she opened up to him and she started talking to him and said that really she had no family she had no kids now he thought that she had a mum still but she had no kids she had no family no money no future and now he thought she was about 30 years old 39 she says <laughs> oh <coughs> okay had no family had no kids had no future needed to save some money to for once she stopped working as a aerobics teacher she needed enough money that um, she could support herself or find the right husband she didn't want Thai, she wanted a foreigner. Find the right husband that would give her significant, life-changing money or life. And she was open with him. Now, then he bought her a drink and he was saying to her, thank you, thank you, you know, for telling me the truth. Now, what what is happening in your life now? You know, you okay, you, you're doing this because you, I understand but you're lying to the guys because you're running four or five guys. That's not good. And it's not good karma. And she's like, you have to do what you have to do. If you've got no proper job or money, it's, it's just got to be done. She's looking after herself. None of the guys that she's stringing along would look after her. They'd drop her like Solomon had at a drop of a hat. So she said there was no future, no guarantee. However, there was the Danish guy that she'd now been seeing for a while and she says he's coming back in a few weeks and he wants her to marry him and go back to Denmark. And Solomon was like, wow, are you gonna do it? She said, yes, he's got lots of money. Really nice guy, but he's 65, 64, a lot older. Solomon was like, oh, okay. I mean, Solomon wasn't thinking about getting back with her. He just wanted to try and understand what he, she was about. Anyway, she says, so I'm going to probably marry him. He's coming back. If he comes back, then so be it. So Solomon and her, they chat a bit more and he learns a bit more little details. And he says to her, I'm back here for a couple of months. If you're always at this bar, maybe I'll drop by and catch up with you for a drink the odd day. And she said, yeah. Um... And he got a number so he was at peace with that he was understood a bit more it's he's learning every day in Asia about everything and he was happy so he finished his drink paid for the drinks said to her thanks um, she sort of indicated that she was quite happy to go back to his room with him and he's like no 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 
and he said goodbye, jumped back on his bike. We'll leave it there. Um, some good stuff for Solomon. He's learning. He's not there for head in his stick. What did he do with Frozen? What did he do? Oh, can't tell you. Fill in the blanks. I'll catch you on the next series, the next one. And uh, take care, have a good day. Don't forget to share, like, thumbs up, hit the button, subscribe. And you can always hit that little bell if you want to know, get notifications when I upload the videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.